If he cannot answer these questions, don't marry him. When a lady is in love, her sense of reasoning seems to come to a standstill. This prevents her from paying attention to details so as to make the best decision for herself. Love is a beautiful thing but not the kind that is bound to ruin you. So before you commit to him, make sure he's able to answer the following questions. No matter what you feel for him, ensure you're able to look out for your future and not just your now by asking him these questions. Number one, do you love God? A man who loves God genuinely will surely love you without reservation and trust me, that's the type of love that you will be needing for a long-term commitment. Number two, after we say I do, who becomes your number one priority, me or your parents? The essence of this question is to avoid future misunderstandings like him taking the side of his family members and not yours. Imagine him always confiding in his mother and not you. Imagine him making big decisions without your knowledge but doing so with the help of his mother or siblings. Make sure to ask so you know where you stand. Number 3. Are you the type to keep female bestie? Many marriages are on the brink of divorce because of this issue. Make sure he's willing to set boundaries with the opposite sex and not the type to cleave to female bestie. Number 4. Will you be willing to learn and grow with me, or you're the type that let issues slide? Ever heard that men keep malice too? Many men seem to do it better than women these days. A man who is willing to learn with you, grow with you, and talk about issues with you is a blessing. Number 5. Are you the type of man that correct me when I'm wrong or ignore my wrongs? When a man truly loves a woman, he corrects her. He doesn't just sit and watch her destroy herself. If he's not the type to correct you in love but rather ignore your wrongs, chances are you'd be mostly lonely in the marriage because when you hurt him unknowingly to you, he will withdraw from you instead of correcting you or bringing your mistake to your notice, leaving you wondering what went wrong. Number 6. Who are you answerable to? You need to be sure there's someone he's answerable to, someone he holds in high esteem that can call him to order if situations get beyond your control in the marriage. If he doesn't have that and doesn't acknowledge the need to have that in his life, run. Number 7. What's your take on marriage counseling? The truth is, you don't need to have a serious issue before you go see a marriage counselor. Just like one can go to the hospital for random checkups, there's also nothing wrong from going to see a marriage counselor to get a different perspective on a sensitive matter with regards to your marriage. If he declines and says something like, I will not be a party to that, and it's obvious from your current relationship with him that it will be necessary for you both in order to keep the marriage healthy and happy, please walk away while you still have the chance to. Finally, don't settle for less. If he isn't giving you long-term commitment vibes and the spirit of God in you isn't giving you the green light, don't settle. He might promise you that he'll change. Perhaps you're already seeing some few changes in him and are thinking of settling, you might be disappointed in marriage. In marriage, his true nature will reappear. I want you to know this truth. A man can go any length to be with the woman he desires. He can become anything she wants him to be just so she accepts him. When he achieves his goal, he returns back to who he really is. To conclude, be watchful, don't settle for less, and allow God to lead you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting insights.